Mr. Beat presents Presidential, presidential Elections in American, American History. History. The seventh presidential election in American history took place from Friday, October 30th to Wednesday, December 2nd, 1812. It was the first presidential election after Louisiana became a state, and it also was the first one that took place when the country was at war. It was the War of 1812, as a matter of fact. One of the most creative names of a war ever. In June, incumbent James Madison had given into the pressure of the Warhawks and asked Congress to declare war on the United Kingdom. However, the United States struggled at the beginning of the war against the clearly superior British forces. A growing number of Democratic Republicans were not happy with Madison and refused to support his renomination. Instead, they supported DeWitt Clinton for president. DeWitt was the nephew of Madison's former vice president, George Clinton, who had died earlier that year. He was also a former U.S. Senator and the mayor of New York City. The New York Democratic Republican Caucus almost unanimously nominated Clinton for president. So there was a split in the Democratic Republican Party between the Madison supporters and the Clinton supporters. The Federalists for a time considered nominating Chief Justice John Marshall for president. But after Clinton entered the race as an alternative to Madison, many decided to endorse him, although the Federalists never officially endorsed him. Whenever two or more political parties on a ballot list the same candidate, by the way, that's called electoral fusion. Still, some Federalists refused to support Clinton and instead nominated Rufus King. DeWitt Clinton was an interesting candidate because he seemingly did whatever was needed to make both Federalists and Democratic Republicans happy. For example, when he was in New England, he would pander to the Federalists by saying he was against the war. But when he was out west, where many Democratic Republicans were, he would seemingly be just fine with the war. Clinton's running mate was founding father dude Jared Ingersoll. Madison's running mate was Elbridge Gary, another founding father dude who is a big reason why we have the Bill of Rights and who signed a bill redistricting Massachusetts to help his Democratic Republican candidates get elected. The first notable example of gerrymandering named after him, of course. Anyway, because of the fusion support for Clinton, many believed Madison would not get to keep his job. And here are the results. James Madison won re-election, but barely, with 50.4% of the popular vote. DeWitt Clinton won 47.6% of the popular vote. It was the closest presidential election up to that point for the popular vote. Rufus King received 2% of the popular vote. Looking at the electoral vote, with Madison receiving 128 electoral votes to Clinton's 89. Madison remained the fourth president in American history, and Elbridge Gary became the fifth vice president in American history. Madison was one of the few presidents in American history to win re-election with less support than his first election. But a win is a win, right? I'll see you for the next election, buddy.